The human heart is a muscle that pumps blood, containing oxygen and other nutrients to the rest of the body. It's made up of four chambers, two upper chambers called atria and two lower chambers called ventricles. The upper and lower chambers work together to pump blood in a coordinated way. Atrial fibrillation, also called AFib or AF, occurs when the beating of the atria is irregular and the upper chambers and the lower chambers are no longer coordinated. Blood doesn't flow as well as it should, causing the heart to beat too quickly and irregularly. People with AF are five times more likely to have a stroke. Blood can pool in the heart's atria and form blood clots. Blood clots that form in the left atrium can break free from the heart and block an artery that supplies blood and oxygen to the brain, leading to stroke and even death. This can be largely prevented by detecting AF early and treating it with blood thinning drugs or anticoagulants. AF is the most common type of irregular heartbeat, affecting more than 33 million people worldwide. It can have no symptoms and therefore frequently goes undiagnosed. AF can increase the risk of heart failure, stroke, and even death. In 2017, the World Heart Federation published a roadmap for non-valvular atrial fibrillation, which provides evidence-informed guidance on priority interventions for AF that can be adapted to different contexts. Since then, technological advances have created new opportunities to help overcome barriers to screening, diagnosis, and management of AF, from devices that can help identify and predict the condition, to the use of mobile technologies to facilitate new, more efficient, and more effective approaches to healthcare. In 2019, thanks to a team of WHF emerging leaders, the World Health Organization added non-vitamin K antagonist oral anticoagulants, which are crucial for stroke prevention and for the management of AF, to its model list of essential medicines. Three years after the original roadmap publication, the barriers and solutions that were identified continue to be relevant. Our new, updated roadmap focuses on reviewing what has changed and redefining global priorities for AF management, particularly targeting low- and middle-income countries. This includes advocacy campaigns to increase awareness of the scope of the problem, educational interventions targeting both healthcare providers and patients, efforts to improve access to affordable diagnosis and treatment, and use of available technologies to improve AF screening, diagnosis, and management. The updated WHF roadmap on atrial fibrillation is a key reference document for anyone involved in the planning, organization, patient management, and implementation of approaches to reduce the burden of AF. It outlines a vision of an ideal pathway of care, potential roadblocks along this pathway, and evidence-informed solutions for healthcare professionals, health authorities, and governments to overcome these roadblocks. Drawing on the expertise of clinicians, researchers, allied health professionals, health systems experts, and patient representatives from around the world, it presents an integrated approach to patient care. The World Heart Federation is supporting the global implementation of this roadmap through our national roundtables, CVD scorecards, the Emerging Leaders Program, and World Heart Day.